really fun things about being a member of PFI is being part of the cooperators program and doing PFI trials. And I have discovered that the more trials I do, the more questions I have. And a few years ago, we um, started thinking about how we could incorporate more and diverse types of cover crops into our vegetable farm. And I did an experiment where I, um, it was just an observational experiment, but I looked at um, vetch preceding um, winter squash and winter rye preceding winter squash. And what I noticed is, although the vetch put a ton of nitrogen um, into the ground, that was really awesome, um, I also had huge weed pressure where the vetch was and didn't where the rye was. So observationally, it looked like, um, even though you'd think that the vetch would do better, that the rye was going to do better because um, there was, uh, we were actually able to get ahead of the weeds and cultivate and have a crop. Whereas where the vetch was, um, we ended up not having a crop that year. So, but it was, it was not scientific. It was just an observational thing. And I really wanted to show, um, because I really, really do believe that vetch is a really good cover crop. And I wanted to find ways to incorporate it into our farm. Winter squash is one of those things on a vegetable farm that can be planted into June. And so there's an opportunity for a larger growth window. And so I was trying to look at how to, um, which one would be better preceding um, winter squash. So what we're gonna do is um, we did uh, three plots and um, two replications. Um, and so we're doing, there's a total of six plots, but two treatments. And we have, um, and strips, and we have winter rye and vetch um, every other plot. And we're going to um, look at the yield of um, butternut winter squash in those two cover crops. So today we're going to mow it. And um, then when it, um, gets a chance to dry on top of the soil, then we're going to till it in and um, we will then plant it uh, with a planter where two, two riders ride on the back of a, a planter that we've retrofitted to be a planter and we actually direct seed um, squash seeds. So it's not, um, it's not transplants, it's direct seeded um, seeds and then we will um, hope for some good rains at that point and um, then that will be the limiting factor on our, on our yields and um, we're gonna look at in the fall, um, which did better? Did it do better for, um, for squash to have rye or for vetch? Um, we've debated a little bit about what the best way to incorporate um, vetch is. I've talked to a number of farmers, including Susan Utes and Carmen Black and Doug Allert and Margaret Smith, um, and kind of debated whether we should plow the vetch, which is um, a little bit more traditional to do, which is what I did the first year, that when I did it observationally, we plowed the vetch and then we um, till or mowed and tilled the rye. But we felt to be, um, most scientific, it would be better if we um, treated them the same way. So we're gonna attempt to mow this vetch and hope it doesn't bind up our mower. And I did a little test this morning and we were okay. So um, that's the goal is that um, we can get this mowed today. If the mower doesn't work, we'll bring out the plow, but I'd like to mow, uh, wait a few days and, um, and then till.